Hey, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about uh, forms in JIRA service management. So forms have been around for a little while now uh, and they kind of look easy, but there's a lot of detail behind them. So uh, I'm pleased that we've got Kale today who's helped putting this video together on a very deep dive into configuring and using forms in JIRA service management. Now, we've got another session for forms in JIRA work management. That's a little different. So it uh, makes sense to have that as a separate video. So uh, I hope this one's useful and we'll go over to Kale now. Cheers. Forms in JIRA service management. JIRA service management also offer forms. The forms in JIRA Service Management are far more advanced than those available in JIRA Work Management and have some different use cases. To create or view existing forms within a JIRA Service Project, go to Project Settings, Forms. Here you'll see a list of any forms that are created, as well as the ability to create new forms. Clicking Create Form brings you to the Form Creation page. Once you have named your form, you can either choose to start with one of 300 plus form templates or create your own using an intuitive Confluence style editor that has column layouts, tables, rich text formatting and insert panels. If you choose a template, for example, you'll be provided a preview of exactly how that layout will appear and you can insert that template directly. You can also design your own form and attach a template as well or customize a template and use it as a starting point. For example, if we do not want this table, we could remove it. You can show or hide fields based on previous responses using conditional logic by inserting sections. Adding a section will end a previous section, which will start at the beginning of the form, and start a new section after it. If you add two sections, then anything contained therein will be able to be hidden based on conditional logic. Moving the section to the desired location, we will be able to hide this section here. You can show or hide fields based on previous responses using conditional logic. To do this, you would insert a field, such as a radio button, checkbox, dropdown, or multi-select, that has options that you can test. Let's choose dropdown. Our dropdown field needs to be named. Dropdown fields and other multi-selects have a unique option in forms known as other. Other allows a selection of this value in order to enter a custom value. I'll show you on the preview. Now, if we move this field to the top of the form, we have a field we can test. Adding in a section, and using the conditional logic for the section, we can choose to hide it when the options field is not any of these. So if we choose option two, anything within this section should be visible. If we move this table down, put it beneath this section, it will be hidden unless the options value of two is selected. You can preview the settings. You can preview the form by clicking the preview tab. You'll note the table is not there. Option one, no table. Option two, it is visible. Include all of the fields you need in one form without having to ask a Jira administrator to create custom fields or reconfigure request types. As this is a Confluence style editor, you have access to certain macros, for example, adding a note panel. You have also the ability to add rich text. Fields can have validation, instructions, hints, and examples to make filling out the form easier. For example, this field item is a long text type field. You can change the type of the field if required. Giving the field a description will provide some hint text to the user to assist them filling out the field. A default answer will be a pre-populated text value which will automatically be added to the field when it's viewed. This value can be changed. A linked Jira field is a configuration allowing you to link the value that is entered into this form input field to the actual Jira issue field. In this way, you can map values out of the form response into the JIRA issue fields for the purposes of searching and filtering. Fields can have validation. The validation available depends on the field type. In most cases, you will have the ability to make a field mandatory by ticking response required. 
you can also test the value entered against a regular expression. There is the additional field length validator as a minimum and maximum character input. Once you have finished creating your form, you can preview it or you can save changes. There are form settings available under the settings tab. If you're an admin, you can add a form to a request types request form. It will appear for customers when they raise a request from the portal. Once a form is submitted, it can be reopened for customers to come back and update after a request is raised. When you add a form to the request form for a request type, it'll appear for customers to fill out when they raise a request of that request type in the portal. In the portal, when a customer is raising a request, the form can be used on its own for raising requests or it can be used alongside existing JIRA fields. The form will appear underneath any JIRA fields that were added when configuring the request type. Form fields will look much like regular JIRA fields and customers won't notice that the form is a separate object to the usual request form that they're used to filling in. However, after the request is raised, the form will be separated and customers will be able to see it under the forms on their request. If you want to use the form on its own but automatically fill JIRA fields with form field information, you can link form fields to JIRA fields. The Create New Issue setting allows you to choose to use the form on the Create New Issues page in JIRA Service Management using a URL. This URL can then be shared externally so the forms can be filled out by any licensed logged in JIRA users in order to create new issues. The URL will be available once you select the request type. Recommended an issue. Agents and admins can add forms to existing issues. When adding a form to an issue of a specific request type, forms that are recommended in issue appear at the top of the list of available forms. This allows agents and admins to add the right form to the issue quickly without having to search through every available form. Form submission. When a form is submitted, you can choose a couple of options. Lock form and only allow project admins to reopen it. If this option is selected, it will only allow project administrators to reopen a form for editing and resubmission after it has been submitted. If not enabled, agents will also be able to reopen the form after it is submitted. Create an attached PDF. If selected, a PDF version of the filled out form will be generated and attached to the issue each time it is submitted. If not selected, this generation does not occur. Issue creation. When an issue is created using this form, either via a request being raised in the portal or by using the form's direct URL, you can choose a couple of options. Keep form open so that anyone can edit and submit it after the issue is created. This option, if selected, allows customers, agents, and admins to edit and submit the form after the issue is created. If not, then the form will automatically be submitted when the issue is created. You can choose to ignore field validation and allow the issue to be created. If this option is selected, it will allow an issue to be created even if the form's field validation requirements are not met or form fields are left empty. However, field validation requirements must be met for the form to subsequently be submitted. The language options allow you to select the language for the validation messages and the button text of the form. Once you've made all of your changes, click Save Changes. Here you can see the created form is linked to request types and is available in three locations. When you use a form as part of a request form of a request type, it will appear for customers to fill out when they raise a request of it in the portal. If you've added a form along with JIRA fields, the form fields will appear underneath. When you use a form as part of the request form for a request type, it will appear for customers to fill out when they raise a request of this type in the portal. If you added a form along with JIRA fields, the form fields will appear underneath any configured JIRA fields. When the form is submitted, the user will notice that the form is separate to the actual ticket. Upon submitting a form, via the request portal, users will see that the form is separate. For agents, any attached forms on any issue will appear in the Forms section on the Issue View page. You'll note forms have states. There are three different states that at any given time it will be in one of these three states. They are open, submitted or locked. These states affect the behaviour of the form and who can access it. Open forms are either yet to be submitted or have been reopened for editing. Submitted. Once completed, the person filling out a form can submit it. This signals to everyone else that the form is now complete. And finally, locked. Once a form is submitted, it can also be locked. 
Whether or not a form is automatically locked upon submission is controlled within the form settings. To edit or delete a submitted or locked form, it must be reopened. To edit or delete a submitted or locked form, it must be reopened. Locked forms can only be reopened by project administrators. Only changes made to an open form will update linked fields. If the form is submitted or locked, then it has any linked fields. Any changes made to the linked JIRA fields will not affect the form field contents. All forms behave the same way in the issue view, regardless of whether they were filled out in the portal, used to create the issue, or added to the issue manually. Once an issue is created, you may want to add a checklist or collect more information from your customer or team members. By adding a form to an issue, you can collect information quickly and all in one place. To add a form to an issue, click the plus button next to the forms and select the form you wish to add. Clicking add will add the form. The status of the form will be open, allowing users to update and then submit. A locked form cannot be deleted. An open form can. Okay, that's all for forms for Jira Service Management. I hope you found that useful. Uh, as I said, we've got a separate video on forms for Jira Work Management. Check that out when you've got a moment. Uh, thanks for joining the channel. Uh, subscribe if you're enjoying the content, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.